If you like our video, click the button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides, visit us at www.teachucomp.com. The Sales Orders window is used to enter amounts of goods or services that the customer agrees to buy, but which are not shipped and invoiced immediately. Remember, entering sales orders does not impact the amounts in the Accounts Receivable General Ledger account. To open the Sales Orders window in Sage 50 Accounting, select Tasks, Quotes, Sales Orders, Proposals, Sales Orders from the menu bar. To create a new sales order, click the New button in the Windows toolbar if needed. Then select the customer ID of the customer for whom you are creating the sales order. Then enter the SO number, which is the sales order number assigned to the transaction. Also enter the sales order's creation date and the ship by date. The customer's billing address appears in the form. If the billing address is different from the shipping address, you can enter the shipping address here too. The Close SO checkbox automatically checks itself after all items from a sales order are shipped and invoiced. However, you can also use it to manually close a sales order in the future if needed. To specify a drop shipment, check the Drop Ship checkbox. Below that, the Customer PO, Ship Via, Terms, and Sales Rep assigned to the customer record appear. You can use the AR Account dropdown if displayed to select which account the sales order will debit when the items are shipped. Then enter the information about the items sold in the line item area. The Quantity field shows how many items are ordered. The Shipped field indicates how many were shipped on previous invoices. The Item field shows the item ID of inventory items if used. The Description shows the item's description, but you can also type a line item description if needed. The GL Account field, if shown, shows the associated income account affected by the sale of that line item. When ordering items not in inventory, it is the customer's default sales account, but can be changed if needed. You also need to check and or set the unit price, tax, and amount for each line item. Enter any necessary freight amount into the freight field and check the sales tax amount. The sales orders total appears in the sales order total field. The customer account information appears in the lower left corner. This shows the selected customer's balance, credit limit, and credit status as of the current date. When finished, save or print the sales order by clicking either the Save or Print buttons in the Windows toolbar. In the future, if you need to manually close an existing sales order, display it within this window, check the Close SO checkbox, and then click the Save button in this Windows toolbar. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. See our full suite of courses, instruction manuals, and quick reference guides at www.teachucomp.com.